Okay, tonight we're going to talk about a compound microscope. We're going to go through a few slides, show you what it looks like in and out of focus, and then we'll have a short video on how to focus a microscope and, and what you're going to see in there. So in front of you is a diagram of a compound microscope. I want to draw your attention to the bottom down here is a YouTube video that Dr. Kurashima at Gavilan has made and it goes through the basic handling of a microscope, storage, how to carry it, uh, and some of the basic parts and you need to watch that because parts of that might be on your quiz. What you see here is some diagrams of the microscope and looking here you have your light source, you have your filter holder, you have your iris and your condenser, then your stage, then your specimen or slide, then your objectives, and then your oculars. The light path through the microscope. Light comes out of the light source, it goes through the iris, it goes through the condenser, it goes through the specimen, it goes through the objective, and then through the ocular and you need to know the light pass, path on the way through. You'll see the objectives right here. The microscope you have, have, you'll use has four objectives. It has a 4, a 10, a 40, and 100. 4 is your scanning electrode. Uh, your 10 and your 40 are more powerful. Your 100 is what we call an oil immersion electrode. And if we have time in class, we'll get to that. I'm not going to deal with that. Uh, right now. As I said, you've got your, I'm going to go back here, you've got your objectives here and you've got your oculars here. Your oculars on your scope, and here's an ocular right here, and it is a 10x ocular. So all your oculars are 10x, which means they magnify an object 10 times. You take the magnification of the ocular times the magnification of the objective to get your total magnification. Uh, the objective power times the ocular power is the total magnification. Here's a chart. Uh, a 10x, a, four, a 10x ocular, 4x objective is 40, 10, 10, and 100, 10, 40, 400, 10, 100, 1,000. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a few other uh, definitions we need to look at. Resolution is the minimum distance between two points that you can perceive as separate. As your magnification goes up, your resolution goes up, up to about, about a 1500 magnification, and then we have trouble running into the wavelength of light and that, but uh, none of our scopes go up over a thousand. Depth of field. It's the thickness of the specimen that remains in focus at one time. And as your magnification goes up, your depth of field goes down. Refractive index. As light passes between different mediums, it bends. If you stick a, take a stick and stick it in the water and look at it, it looks like it bends right where the stick enters the water. And obviously the stick doesn't bend, but the light does. And that light is refracting. This makes a difference when you are using a very high power objective, an oil objective, because too much, the light might refract coming through the glass of the slide and not enough light get into the objective. That's why you use a, an immersion oil. And we'll discuss that in class. Focal length is the distance between the objective lens and the specimen. And the working distance is the range of distances between the objective and the slide when the specimen is in focus. And that goes down as your, uh, both your focal length and working distance go down as your magnification increases. And it gets to the point that uh, when we look at the microscope, you really need to use the fine focus knob because uh, it's, uh, it's such a small distance. A couple other things is uh, 
When you put the microscope away, the objective is always at the lowest power. The rheostat is at the lowest power or off. The stage is down and the cord is wrapped uh, around the, in the cord holder or the head, around the head of the microscope. So, here we are. We've put a slide on the microscope and this is the four power objective. It hasn't been focused. You start by putting the slide, the stage down at the bottom. You put the objective on the four objective, and then you raise the stage until it starts to come into focus. And we will have that on a video in a minute. When it comes into focus, and this is a blood smear. Uh, this is a human blood smear. We're going to look at the red cells and the white cells and the platelets. When it comes into focus, sorry, I went the wrong way. Uh, this is coming into focus. The bumps here are some of the oil droplets. It's a fairly old slide. You can see some of the small blue dots here. Uh, these are the white cells. The rest is a carpet of red blood cells. Now, once you're in focus with your four objective, you're going to go to a higher objective. Uh, one thing that these objectives have is what we call par focalization, meaning that when you're in, in focus with one objective, you're pretty close to being in focus with the other objectives. Normally you start with your lower power objective, get into focus, and then work your way up through the objectives. Uh, 4, 10 on, uh, on this digital scope, it's a 20, and then to a 40. On the ones you have in class, it'll be 4, 10, 40, and 100. So you start at the 4, then when you're in focus on the 4, you go to the 10, and here's what it might look like with a 10 power before you focus. You can still kind of see the white cells and you're kind of in focus. And you're actually very close to being in focus, but uh, you need to do a fine focus. So you use your fine focus knob and focus in on the cells. Now here, a 10 power with a 10 power objective, you can see quite a bit. You can see some different types of white cells. You can see your carpet. You can make out the individual red cells. So this was taken off a digital microscope, and now we're going to go to the 20 power objective. And again, your focus goes out a little bit, but you only have to do a little bit of the fine focus, and you come back into focus. So now you can see very distinctly see the white cells and the different types of white cells. You can start to see some of the platelets here and here, and the red cells. So this is a 20 power objective. It's about a 200 power total magnification. So once you're in focus there, you go to the 40 power objective. Now this is a 40 power. This has not been focused, but you can still see quite a bit. This white cell is what we call an eosinophil. This is a neutrophil. You have your red cells, you can see the central pallor, and you can see the platelets. And then you go ahead and finish up and uh, focus in. So let's look at some of the things that we're going to see in here. You have an eosinophil. It's a white cell. It, you don't see a lot of them, but uh, you'll see them in allergic reactions. Down here is a neutrophil, and we'll see more of those. Uh, they're lobulated, and they fight the bacterial infections. They engulf bacteria. Again, you have your platelets, which cause a platelet plug, and they're the first, uh, first defense in bleeding, stopping bleeding. And then you have your red cells. Your red cells are a biconcave disc, so they have a, a central pallor, and those are normal red cells. This is these this dark spots here are just artifact. Uh, it's it's an older slide. So here, uh, and one of the cells you might see when you look at your slides is a lymphocyte. Lymphocytes tend to vi fight the viral infections. And if you notice down here, you can see this little blue rim. This indicates that the lymphocyte is what we call a reactive lymphocyte, and it's making immunoglobulins to fight, uh, fight an infection. This is a kind of a nice area of the slide. You can see some different cells. This is that eosinophil again. These are neutrophils. Again, you can see the lobulation. Uh, they, again, fight a bacterial infection. The platelets are here, again, are uh, for clotting purposes. 
This is a banned neutrophil. This is an immature neutrophil and when you start seeing a lot of these, usually you will see some, but when you start seeing a lot of these, it tells you that the bone marrow is producing a lot of white cells in, usually in response to an infection, and you start looking for a septicemia or infection at that point. And that's it for the cells that we're going to see in there. What we're going to do tonight is look at how to use a microscope. Now, Dr. Kurishima has a video that's listed in your handout on the basic parts of the microscope and how to transport it and store it. What I'm going to do is look at how to focus it and just what the, what the images look like. So I'm going to go over a couple of things here. What you see in the picture are two microscopes. The one on the left is a digital microscope. It does not have the headpiece uh, and oculars. It simply has a digital screen and we will use that to show you how to focus a microscope. The one on the right is a cannibalized old light microscope, light compound microscope, that I'm going to just use to show you the parts and basically how things work. So let's get going with this. I'm going to be handheld holding the camera, so bear with me. So this is a light compound microscope. As Dr. Kurishima has pointed out, this is where your light source would be. And you would have a lens there. This is the condenser right here. The condenser focuses the light into the specimen and up into the objective. The condenser sits right up in here. Uh, this microscope has a diaphragm, not, not a condenser. The condenser has an iris in it. If you look at this, I'm going to set the camera down for a second. The condenser has an iris in it that opens like your eye to allow light in and out. And you're the condenser on the scopes you'll be using sits, sits, right, sits right up here in the scope. Now above the condenser is the stage. This, here is the stage on this one. And on the stage, you can see here, are the slide clips. These hold your microscope slide in place. So the light is going to come from the light source, through the condenser, through the specimen. These are your objectives. And then from the objectives it's going to move up to the oculars or in this case to the digital screen. In this microscope, here are the objectives. Notice the objectives are on the nose piece and it moves and it clicks into place. This aligns your objective uh, with the condenser. If this is not clicked into place, you're going to have problems because you're not going to be able to see through it. The, uh, the oculars are what you're going to be used all are a 10x ocular so the ocular times the power of the objective is your total magnification and we've got a couple of slides on that on the, in the beginning so let's go through on how we're going to focus uh, a microscope first of all and I'm going to set the camera down here, see if we got it. What we're going to do is I'm going to take the, the slide off this scope. You're going to drop your stage to the bottom, to the lowest point. Here are your course focus. Notice how quickly it moves the stage up and down. Here's your fine focus knob. 
and notice that it moves the stage much less uh, so you can focus on smaller objects. Let me show you on this one. Here's your course knob and it moves the stage easily and then your fine focus knob uh, you can barely see the stage move. So back to this one, back to the digital scope. You set your stage at the lowest point. Your objectives always start with your scanning your objective which is a four power objective. We're going to put the slide on. Now this is a slide, this slide is a human blood smear. And other than when I'm changing the objectives and doing a few other things, uh, we'll, we'll concentrate on the screen here. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got the slide on. The objective is my four, it's the red one. I'm going to turn it until it clicks. And you see when it clicks into place, that you have, you have light coming through to the screen. When it's not in place, you have no light. It is the same thing with the other ones. Then I'm going to take the course adjustment knob and I'm going to adjust it up until I start seeing, at least in basic focus, what's on my slide. And here we're starting to look at a blood smear. So the course focus moves it very quickly and here we're coming into focus and then you're going to use your fine focus knob to get it as clear as you can. Now with these objectives we have what we call power focalization meaning when you're in focus with one objective you're just about in focus with another with the other so you can uh, focus with one and then turn to another and be semi, be pretty close to being in focus, just minor adjustments. So right here, we're in focus with the four power objective. Now I'm going to turn it to the 10 power objective. And you notice that you're a little bit out of focus, but A little, a little bit of adjustment and you're back in focus. Now what you're starting to see here, I'm going to put my glasses on, excuse me. What you're starting to see here is some white cells. Right here, right here, right here. These little blue specks are white blood cells. And we're starting to see those. So we're going to focus in on the 10 power as best we can. And if you have something like a white cell to focus in on, that makes life easier. Now this microscope has a 20 power. So I'm going to change it down to the 20 power. And all of a sudden, you can start seeing your white cells a little bit better. I'm going to move the slide, adjust the slide just a little bit in order to get a white cell in the middle. And then we'll focus on that white cell. And there, there you're focused on the white cell. So now you're focused in at your 20 power. And now we're going to go up to the 40 power. And there's your white cell. And then we're going to focus. I'm going to move the white cell up into the slide a little bit. And then refocus. And so now you have a white cell in focus. So let me just move the camera away and show you what I did. We started here with the 4x objective. And then, as you can see, you don't see a lot, but you can get it in focus. Then we went to the 10x. And you can see a little bit better. 
Then we went to the 20x on this one. And you can see that you've got white cells. You can see the blue white cells there and you can actually pretty much tell what they are. And then we went to the 40x. And there you have a good picture of the white blood cell. Now on the scopes that you have there we may get to it. I'm trying to get this to focus in a little bit better. We will possibly try to use the oil objective. I do not have one on this scope and that's something that we'll show you in class. That's just basically uh, how you would focus the microscope, what you would see through your oculars. You won't have a digital scope. You'll see it through the oculars and how you use the scope. Okay.